We all need to remember safety first when using any of our equipment, and maintenance is an essential part of safety. Maintenance ranges from pre-start checks every day, refueling, frequent greasing, to scheduled servicing and rebuilds. All these checks are particularly important because of where we work and the equipment we use. We work in restricted areas in front of and around tyre handlers. If maintenance procedures are not followed, there can be serious safety issues, particularly around brakes, structural integrity of the tyre handler and hydraulic systems. Brake failure can lead to the tyre handler moving if not chocked correctly. Structural integrity failure in the mast, loader arms or grabbing arms of the chassis could mean falling loads and again unintentional movement of the machine or components. If there is a hydraulic failure, components of the tyre handler could creep, causing crushing injuries, the loss of drive control, brake failure, losing the load and hydraulic oils spilling creating a slip hazard. The maintenance schedule of any piece of plant is unique and any maintenance should be in line with the original equipment manufacturer's OEM recommendations and specifications. Maintenance requirements can be broken down into seven main elements. Identify all critical components. Visually inspecting before and after every shift. Periodic lubrication. Periodic minor inspections. Periodic major services. Periodic structural inspection. And refueling. Let's look at each of these in more detail. You need to identify the critical components of each type of tyre handler on your site. The most critical components include two-piece arm joints, for example, those built into some JEC handlers, slew rings used on most CWA, iMac and IMT tyre handlers, pad rotation pins and connectors. These are used on all tyre handlers and the chains used on forklift tyre handlers. The chains can stretch, need lubrication, or just be in a poor condition. Other components that need regular checking are the connecting pins, including clips, bolts, welds, hydraulic rams and hoses, attachment points, where one component is attached to another component, structural components, for example, pads, including grip logs, arms and mounting plates. At the start and end of every shift, you must complete a visual inspection of the tyre handler you'll be operating or have operated. You must remember to inspect all critical components of the tyre handler and complete Otrico's digital pre-start form. You need to make sure critical components are greased when scheduled and that the grease used aligns with what the OEM recommends. These minor mechanical inspections, including lubricating the tyre handler, are to be done monthly. A major service may mean that parts of the tyre handler will need to be dismantled to allow access to internal components. A major service should only be undertaken by Otrico's maintenance personnel or the OEM. You will need to follow the OEM specifications for servicing, maintenance and in relation to the component replacement schedule. This includes lubrication type, torquing specifications and re-torquing frequencies, computer settings and load recalibration frequencies. If the tyre handler has low usage and the OEM says service every 250 hours but the tyre handler is only operating 10 hours a month, you need to adjust the major servicing schedule to a time-based servicing schedule rather than hours. Where there are critical welds on a tyre handler, non-destructive testing, NDT, should also be scheduled at specific intervals to look for fatigue, cracking, or even corrosion in the structure of the tyre handler. Non-destructive testing should only be undertaken by specialist providers. Refueling is part of general maintenance but you should only refuel a tyre handler when required and only when you are being trained in site-specific refuelling processes and procedures. Depending on your site rules, you may also need permission from a supervisor. Never use a fast fill system with an open attachment. 
you should only use a standard flow nozzle, like those on a petrol station bowser, or a fast fill specialised fuel tank receiver with a vent fitting force gun that will close off when the tank is full. Keeping track of all tyre handler maintenance records is important to keep us safe. Records should be kept in a contract management system. For example, Otrico use an asset management tool, or AMT, to record all work orders and maintenance done on plant and machinery. The AMT is used to record all work orders and maintenance already undertaken, as well as for scheduling future maintenance. Where Otrico is operating as a contractor, the responsibility for undertaking maintenance and for recording all of the maintenance work will depend on the contract with the client and who owns the tyre handler. If you are not sure about the maintenance schedule, check with your supervisor.